was going to say for everybody, please take their seats, but it appears as though everybody has already found the spot to seat. Um, please ensure that you are not sitting in a non-designated seating row or um, a non-designated sitting seat. I think they are all clearly marked, so there should be no problems there. Um, just some basic house rules before we begin. Please all cell phones off. Um, no objections if they're on silent or by great, but um, to respect our guest speaker and our um, um, staff who are going to be introducing them, we ask that cell phones be um, on silent or by great. Um, regarding COVID-19, we ask that you observe social distancing, so one and a half to two metres distance at all times between um, individual members attending the meeting. Um, please wear your mask at all times, unless, of course, it's, um, it's lunchtime and you will be then obviously um, removing your mask for that event. Um, Sanitizer has been provided. Please note that these um, regulations are for the safety of all of us. Um, just let me indicate for, if you need the bathroom at any time during the event, um, you can exit through your right hand side. The exit is on the right hand side. Please um, make your way through the, through the foyer area, turn to your right and you will find that there is a passageway, both men's and ladies' toilets are available there. Um, relating to the evacuation, we are not expecting that there will be any um, need to evacuate the building, but I have to indicate to you where um, you need to assemble and where, how you need to, to exit the, the building. And um, please note that no oxygen masks will be falling from the ceiling and there are no light vests under your seats. You will be um, notified via our intercom system and our safety and security officer um, where you need to go. I'm just going to point out to you the door is on your right hand side there. In the event of an evacuation, you will exit calmly and slowly through the door, turn to your right and follow the exit signs up to um, there's a staircase that you will need to go down, which will take you down to the parking area. And NLSA officials will be on duty to assist you. Just a quick run through of the program. Um, we are going to have a welcome by Mr. Timber Tamini, who is the chair of the NLSA's board. We are then going to have Thank the purpose of the day and the introduction of our guests by Dr. Kamalza Nguma, which will be a graphic services. And after that, we will have the keynote address, which is going to be provided by Professor Matoli Nozeha. He is Kara Heritage Institute. He is from the Kara Heritage Institute and an MP of the National Assembly. Um, after that, we will have a discussion. Mr. Unati Sonwabile Nwana, and he is a tourism lecturer and commentator from the Twani University of Technology. Um, having completed the discussion, a vote of thanks will then be given by Ms. Noctula Musa, who is our executive director of four programs. And after that, we will have lunch. I'd just like to finally um, enrich classics outside in the foyer, and amongst those classics are also our legal deposit receipts, as we are um, the premier legal deposit receipt library. Without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Tim. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
So welcome uh, Prof, uh, to our, our uh, institution, which is the uh, one of our uh, welcome inducted to our terrain. It's just by coincidence that I know some of the colleagues, so it wasn't planned that I'm going to, who's going to be facilitating the discussion. Uh, Unati, I know him in the space of uh, tourism. Uh, he's a writer and knowledge generator in terms of tourism. Concern. But besides those three that are tourism and culture, welcome. And uh, uh, members of the board, if they're here, and the executive of the NSA, uh, and, um, and our partners, um, the NRSA, uh, Kara Institute, CSIR, KUKU, uh, uh, the leading clubs, uh, public libraries, uh, uh, representative from public libraries, the Department of Basic Education, University in African Languages, uh, Pencil. Publishers and some knowledge system for you uh, today, which is the 25th of November. The purpose of this public question that in 
tend to promote writing so that the organization is uh, promoted uh, throughout uh, the country and uh, of uh, the continent and the world. So briefly, um, just for those who want to understand the business of the NLSA, the NLSA takes its mandate from the NET. That's where it comes from. If you look at chapter 15, it talks about social cohesion. So that's where, again, the purpose of this lecture is also to highlight that indigenous language is part of the collection acquired that will also assist in the updating and, and the complete registry of our national documentary uh, heritage collection. Therefore, today you are going to have a lecture in this, uh, this event is aligned to our goals and the goals of the country. And it presents an opportunity to highlight the importance of documenting our indigenous knowledge in our own languages and legal deposits. The lecture will be streamed as on social media platforms. With those few words, uh, let me uh, thank you for coming to and honoring this particular event. And uh, I think you have, uh, you know, uh, you know, Professor Musaha in, in his lecture, and you can take some of the points away to further develop what you probably have started in this particular space in terms of language development. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Kenza Tanzini, our chairperson of the board. I would just like to um, introduce Dr. Hamata Maruma, my boss, who is now going to give us the purpose of the day and the introduction of our illustrious guest. Hamata? Jumela. I'm saying good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's my chain. You might say no. Hey, we need to talk our language, guys. Hey, good morning. I would like to thank you. For the way of welcome, um, that they too can speak language system. Indigenous knowledge not only plays a key role in our daily lives, sustainable social and economic development. Every society, particularly in Africa, saw it fit to host this event today as it celebrates its 101 anniversary to highlight the importance of the concept. Our guest speaker will discuss the recovery of indigenous African knowledge system for youth development and present creative initiative for their promotion, preservation, and revitalization. I will read the biography of Ndate Professor Matone Soforo Mutsefa. And I think you can also see it on the screen. And the day more alone until March 29, 
regarding this a member of the South African Constitutional Review Committee Parliament Presidential Interfaith Working Group, Public Relations Secretary of the National Interfaith Council of South Africa, I told committee to consider the report by the Minister of Police, that is the report in bracket, and then the previous position, the activities, and the member of the organization. 2020, he was appointed as the Associate Professor of Jewelry Prudence at the University of South Africa. In 2002, he founded the Kara State Institute and Politician by Nature. He's a doctor of law, specialist in local and traditional governance, African philosophy, cultural and religion, human and people's rights. He obtained his law degree from the University of South Africa in 1974, LLB from the same institution in 1978 with distinction in criminal law and constitutional law, LLM, Master of Law with distinction from Harvard University of South Africa. He was admitted as a candidate attorney in 1977 and two years later as an attorney of the Supreme Court of South Africa. In 1980, he was awarded the Fulbright Scholarship at Harvard Law School and the German Academy Scholarship, the Max Planck Institution for Foreign and International Criminal Law. In 1983, Professor Mutsen practiced as lecturer in law at the Albert Ludwig University in Freiburg am Wesel, Germany. In 1994 and 1984, he served as chairperson of the National Association of Lawyers. It was during this time in 1984 that he was also admitted as an advocate of the Supreme Court of South Africa. Between 1984 and 1994, he lectured at UNISA. During this time, he was also an honorary professor of law and political science at University of Pretoria. Professor Mutsika worked as a guest lecturer in the Department of Religious Studies at the University of Durban University. He was also a visiting professor in Cape Town. In 1989, he was the Arias and the he was established the first community legal advice center in Miami. Between 1987 to 1989, he was a member of the tax team of post apartheid South Africa. And the same professor that you are talking about. In 1987, during this period, he also chaired the transformation commission of rural development and poverty eradication and social justice, local government and traditional leadership. He was also a member of the Black Empowerment Commission. Between 1991 and 1997, he was deputy chair of the agency in Founding. In 1997, he became chairperson of the ANC in this province and remained in this position till 2000. It was during his chairmanship of the ANC that he later, in 1998 to 1999, served as premier of county. In 1995, he earned a doctorate of law from 